Good morning. It's Monday, October 23rd, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. All clear on radar at 6.58 this morning. We take a look at the infrared satellite imagery. This is looking for cool clouds. So we're not seeing all the clouds here on this particular uh, shot. We do have some cloud cover in North Georgia, Middle Georgia, but our thickest cloud cover in Southeast Georgia. And with those clouds, kind of like a blanket, it's holding in some heat. So we have some warmer temperatures as we get started in the Southeast corner of the state. Those clouds are going to linger around today, but we're going to see mostly sunny skies over most of Georgia as we move through the day today. Let's check out the tropics. There's Hurricane Tammy, Category 1 hurricane. We'll talk about that in a second. We have an Orange X that could be our next storm, and that could take the name Vince if it forms uh, there in uh, the, the east side of, the, of Central America. But the modeling seems to indicate it's going to continue to pick up some strength in that warm water off the coast of Nicaragua and then move west across Central America head out to the Pacific. So again, it could steal an Atlantic name and be a Pacific storm. But one way or another, not a threat to us. Hurricane Tammy, middle of the road, Category 1 with those 80-mile-an-hour sustained winds. Looks like that's going to continue to move toward the northeast and remain a hurricane all the way till about Thursday. Then it's going to try to make that turn toward the west. Would love to move toward the uh, east coast of the United States, trying to move toward North Carolina, but it's just not going to work out. Uh, we're going to be pushing against the westerlies, so there's going to be a lot of wind shear involved there, so the storm's already going to start to break up as it makes that turn and should dissipate completely not long after crossing over Bermuda, so no problems as far as Tammy is concerned. Let's take a look at our modeling through the day today. Things are going to be pretty quiet. Again, a little bit of cloud cover, especially in South Georgia. You move up toward uh, Northeast Georgia, you're getting closer to the center of the high pressure system, which is our main weather factor and will be over the next several days. Looks like all the way into the weekend. And that's going to keep skies mainly sunny. Again, mainly in Northeast Georgia, a little bit more cloud cover slips in uh, to the southwest corner of the state. But heading through this afternoon, again, no rain. Everything is quiet. Overnight tonight, a little bit of a breeze will kick up, and that will be the same as tomorrow morning, but still going to be mostly sunny as we move through your Tuesday. Wednesday looks about the same. There's that high-pressure center locked in over western North Carolina. Looks like around Murphy, North Carolina, Waynesville, North Carolina. They're in the western corner of the state, so that's going to bring us mostly sunny skies, especially in the north part of Georgia. And then south Georgia, still going to be a little bit breezy and some clouds as we get started Wednesday morning. Maybe a shower along the Georgia coastline, but other than that, we should remain rain-free all week, and those temperatures will slowly climb, too, with all that sunshine. We'll just notice a slow progression of our temperature ticking up a degree or two each day all the way until Friday and into the weekend. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.